Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotac, and today Apple released Apple's digital ID for passports. It's finally here, it's a feature they announced quite some time ago, and it's available now on your iPhone. So I thought we'd talk about the requirements, how it works, how you actually add your passport, and where it can be used as well. Now the overall requirements are pretty simple. It's only in the USA for now on iOS 26.1 and later. You can add it from your Apple Wallet app, so if we go into Wallet, on the top of the wallet app, we'll tap on the plus here, and now we can add it to our wallet under driver's license and ID cards. So if we go into that option, you'll see under United States, we have a new option for digital ID. If we go into this, give it a second, you'll see it says digital ID, use your US passport to create a digital ID that can be used to book flights or hotels, pass through TSA checkpoints for domestic travel, open new accounts and more. You can add it to your iPhone and Apple Watch or just your iPhone only. If we go ahead and add this, give it a second, what we'll do is to show you the first step is I'll go to the government's page here where we have the Department of State with a sample passport. So you can get past this first step, but you'll need additional steps in order to verify. So again, you just hold it over your passport just like you would with a license. It will process, we'll give it a moment here, but now you'll actually have to place your iPhone on the chip within the passport. So it says find the barcode on the inside back cover of your US passport and place your iPhone on the chip as shown. So of course you need a real passport to get through that next step and there may be additional verification steps as well. You'll see they have a section where it says how to create a digital ID. And if we go forward here, you may actually have to scan your face similar to face ID so it can verify it's with you. And then also you may have to wait for it to be approved. So there's additional steps here. You have to submit it for verification. Once it checks everything is correct and it's you, then it allows it to continue and be added to your wallet. Now, currently this is only going to be available at TSA checkpoints in the United States in beta within airports at over 250 locations. It will allow you to verify your identity when traveling within the United States. So you of course could carry your typical passport with you, but it doesn't work around the world yet. So this is only for the United States so far, and you can use it to verify. Of course, if you maybe don't have some of the correct updated license information, you can use it there as well. And also for those of you concerned about overall security, you'll see here it says, like all IDs in Apple Wallet, digital ID takes advantage of the privacy and security features already built into iPhone and Apple Watch to help protect against tampering and theft. Digital ID data is encrypted, and when users create a digital ID, their passport data is stored on the device. Apple cannot see when or where users present their ID or what data was presented. Biometric authentication using Face ID or Touch ID also ensures that only the owner of the digital ID can present it. It says only the information needed for a transaction is presented and the user has the opportunity to review and authorize the information being requested with Face ID or Touch ID before it is shared. Users do not need to unlock, show, or hand over their device to present their ID. So for those of you that were concerned about that, again, it's all on device and secure once it's verified. So of course it needs to be verified. That would have to probably verify with a database from the United States. They don't actually say how this works, but after it's verified, it's on the device and only on the device. You can see what it looks like here, where it says the following information will be presented, and then you can double click to sort of present that information. So just like you would use your Apple wallet for maybe paying with a credit card, you'll be able to present your digital ID here. Now, of course, there's no mention of anything outside the United States currently, and there are different licenses available throughout different states, but the state has to work with Apple to get these on here. So that's why we only see a few states as well as Puerto Rico, and then you've got the My Number card in Japan. So your country or state has to reach out to Apple, work with them to implement this, to verify on their server side, just like the licenses do. And once that's in place, then it can actually be added. So at this point, we're not sure how many people will use the digital ID, but it does appear to be very secure. But if you don't have a passport, it doesn't really matter. But let me know what you think of it in the comments below. But I just wanted to give you a quick walk through how it worked, how you would add that, and that it's available currently. So that's everything with Apple's digital ID. There's no word whether or not this will be added to Android phones or anything else in the future. And of course it's not mandatory or anything like that. So it's only if you want it for your convenience. Otherwise you can just use your normal passport if you'd like to. Again, let me know what you think of digital ID in the comments below, and I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.